And now, KernCast 23. Well, good morning, everyone. It was a very cold morning yesterday. We were expecting today to be worse, but thankfully an offshore flow changed that just a little bit. Here's a live look from our city of Tehachapi cameras showing you that the sun is rising, casting that big, beautiful shadow from the mountains here. And our city of Tehachapi camera blowing just a little bit in a breeze we have out there. But don't worry, nothing like that windy event we saw earlier this week. Just a nice, clear day as we start to settle down under a ridge of high pressure that will bring all of our locations up to some very beautiful spring-like temperatures. Remember, spring officially starts on March 20th, so though it feels like we've had it for weeks, it will officially begin here in just a few days. Now here's another live picture. This is the sun rising from our view here on the valley floor. This is along Stockdale Highway where everyone is busy as bees trying to get to work. Go ahead and take it safe on those roadways because right now everything is clear, but of course you all know that morning commute, it starts to get a little crazy. Now yesterday we got up to 60 degrees. It was a very mild afternoon because of all that cold air. That cold air was providing us those very chilly overnight temperatures. Our average has now climbed up to 68 and thankfully I can tell you that the cold air is done. The sunshine will overpower it today and we'll be talking about getting well above that average this afternoon. Now our temperature currently is 41 degrees. It's a little on the dry side, which is typical, but again, just a slight breeze up in the mountains. Very calm here on the valley floor. Now here are our morning lows. They've already come and gone in Bakersfield, 33, 36 degrees, Santa Maria, 33, but Los Angeles only down to 42 and Palm Springs overnight, just 53. So definitely feeling mild. Unfortunately, though, that freeze warning is still in effect. We did have some locations that were down below freezing, but thankfully it wasn't a very long extended period of time, which was good. The coldest temperatures are always just before sunrise. Like I said, that has come and gone, but this freeze warning is still in effect until 8 a.m. We were seeing high 20s in our rural areas, some low to mid 30s in our cities, especially up in Tatchby. You had another night of overnight temperatures in the 20s, but again, that is now gone. So go ahead, whenever we have a warning, take precaution for your pets and your plants. Check on any elderly family members or neighbors you may have. And thankfully, we are talking about the sunshine returning. That's all thanks to that ridge of high pressure. You can see that everything is being pushed around that perfect bubble that is now set up over California, just a little bit of cloud cover up to the north. So that sunshine will really sink into the soil this afternoon, bringing all of those temperatures way up. As we take a look ahead, that ridge will go ahead and stick around until Saturday. Then on Sunday, we'll start to see the intrusion of some of these beautiful storms. This one will be heading up into Canada the next few days with all of that very cold, unsettled air behind it. But there are a couple systems that will be brewing and heading our way. So those will break down that ridge come Sunday, providing us with some cloud cover and some cooler temperatures. It looks like we'll have storm after storm coming across the northern California coast. But unfortunately, that's northern California. We will see some of the effects of it, but it doesn't look like we'll be getting any rain, unfortunately. So let's cross our fingers, hope that we can get something this far south. But the good news is, no matter where it falls in the state, as long as it's falling, it's good for our water. We just want a lot more here locally for our farmers. Back to today's forecast, our air quality in the good range at 43 on the index. So wonderful news there, but allergy cast a little bit of a roller coaster. We've been so high for so many days. Again today, 8.6 out of 12. Yesterday we were in the medium range, but that, as you see, is very short-lived. Now as we take a look at some of our other valley locations, very warm, mid-70s here in Bakersfield, lower 70s for everyone else under that beautiful sunshine. Up in the mountains, finally warmer for you. There's those 60s for Kernville, Glenville, and Lake Isabella. The 50s down south after you've had a few days that only had highs in the 30s. And out into eastern Kern County, many locations there in the 60s, but Ridgecrest fighting hard to break that 70 degree mark, 72 for you today. Now, Kim, this is great news. Looking ahead, today isn't the only beautiful day. Remember, that ridge will be sticking around till Saturday, so we'll see those beautiful temperatures all the way through the beginning of the weekend. Then on Sunday, that ridge breaks down. A little bit of cloud cover, a little bit of a cool down. Monday and Tuesday, some more clouds, but again, it doesn't look like we'll have any rain there. And hey, remember, Sunday, daylight saving time. We lose an hour. We will be springing forward. So when you go to bed on Saturday, go ahead and try to remind yourself, set your clock ahead one hour, because if you wake up and it's 10 o'clock, you will will be late to church or brunch or whatever you have planned that day. Go ahead and try to remember to keep that on, tr on track for yourself. In the Kern River Valley, you'll see 60s today, 70s as we head into the weekend. Unfortunately, Monday looks to be your coldest in the 50s, and I know you don't like this, Kim. Your Monday will be in the 40s, but we don't need to worry about that yet. Let's just look ahead to the 60s for you and to hatchery for the weekend. And what's been amazing, though, is consistently the past few weekends have been beautiful. Yes. No matter Bakersfield to Hatchby, doesn't matter. Exactly. It's been really nice out there. All so the storm been, systems have been weak side. Yeah, so it's been nice for everybody who doesn't work weekends. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, she does. <laughs>